mean... There is some irony here. I was, uh, I wasn't going to do any more videos today, but I saw this. How can you not, how can I not talk about this? Monster Hunter has been pulled from Chinese cinemas uh, over a scene which was said to have uh, a slur in it. Now, um, I think it's really important to note, this is China we're talking about. Uh, a place that uh, is openly uh, against the whole, um, I mean, oh my god! <laughs> They have they have actual signs saying like no blacks allowed and you know um, they have like internment camps and, and and correction camps for Uyghur Muslims and yet I mean really ah oh, it's so funny I mean ah <laughs> uh, but I bet you anything ladies and gents Variety won't talk about that bet you they won't. God damn, this is funny. So anyway, before we dive into this, ladies and gents, uh, I'm rocking some Christmas merch lately. Got the Xenomorph Christmas sweater. You can find a link down below via Teespring uh, or just underneath every single video. Support me and also rock some awesome merch. They're available for a very limited time. They only uh, are released once every single year. Um, and I'm probably thinking they might. this might be the last time uh, I do these. I think we've got some new ones next year. So grab them whilst you can. But let's have a look. So, hello Jasper. Um, so, Chinese regulators are in the midst of censoring the Hollywood title Monster Hunter after a controversy broke out online on opening day over a 10 second long exchange in the film that patriotic local viewers say insults China. Because you can't, like, we can't do stereotypes and can't have a laugh anymore. <sighs> I bet, like, how many, you know, how many films make Brits out to be tea drinking morons with buck teeth. Really? Like, it's just, it's all the rage, yeah? I mean, that's technically an insult. Technically, you know, we could say that that's, you know, uh, well, never mind. Um, the fantasy action film, I've got to be careful what I say because YouTube keeps demonetizing my videos, so, <clears throat> teespring. Uh, the fantasy action film is produced, written, and directed by Paul W.S. Anderson and stars his wife, uh, Mila Jovovich. Ugh. Stop putting her in films. Uh, and stop making films. Go back to doing Event Horizon, please, Paul Anderson. Um, Tony Jaa, T.I. and others. Uh, it also features Jin O-Young, better known as MC Jin. Uh, he is the first Asian American solo rapper to sign to a major label uh, and is well known in China for his appearance on the popular competition show The Rap of China. Some very imaginative names here, isn't there? Uh, the movie is loosely based on the immensely popular role-playing... I mean, that's... Oh, God. Even, even that alone signifies why this is such garbage. The movie is loosely based on an incredibly popular game series. So why'd you, why'd you loosely base it on it? Why didn't you just do the same thing? Um, developed by uh, Japan's Capcom... Japan are bosses when it comes to uh, China. Do you remember in the whole COVID-19 situation and the WHO and Japanese Prime Minister just came out and goes, oh, you mean the Chinese health organization? They're so, they're legends when it comes to this. Um, but anyway, so it's developed by uh, Japan's Capcom, but it's sold and distributed in China by Chinese tech giant Tencent. Um, which makes, yeah, that makes sense. They've been making massive moves lately. Uh, whose film arm also co-produced the film. So you'd think that they would, you'd think that they would have, um, you know, breezed through the script a little bit. So they obviously approved it. Someone's getting fired. Or probably, you know, thrown in the gulag. Uh, anyway, Monster Hunter uh, enjoyed midnight screenings in the small hours of Friday, local time, and officially debuted in Chinese cinemas on Friday, December 4th, fully three weeks ahead of its planned December 25th US release. Despite hitting China fresh and first, it grossed just 5.19 million on day one. Good enough only for third place after trouble quickly emerged. So what was it? Well, cinemas around the country began to pull the movie from their lineups when what was intended as a light-hearted moment in the film, again, remember context, that was the intention, was taken by local viewers as a gloating insult. 
Uh, though around a quarter of all film screenings in, cin in China were allotted to Monster Hunter on Friday, by Saturday that had fallen to only 0.7%. By around midnight the same day, many cinemas received an urgent notice to cancel all upcoming screenings and issue refunds for shows already sold. Because again, that's communism for you. Uh, according to numerous screenshots of such directives posted online, a new version is being produced overnight. And should be the one screened. Uh, Theatres should should please strictly observe that the old version should not be further screened a single time. Fuck me. Uh, but later on Saturday morning local time, new leaked directives that Variety has not directly confirmed said that distribution of the DCP copies for the new version has also been suspended, indicating that the release of even a censored version is effectively halted. Why have they done that? Uh, if so, it will deal a blow to Tencent Pictures' reputation. But they're China-owned. What's going on? I mean... Yeah, someone's definitely getting fired. Uh, and indicate that the Chinese political winds have now become serious headwinds for American content. Even when that content is, in the case of Monster Hunter, jointly produced with German, Japanese and Chinese firms. But this is the thing. Apparently China rules China rules the waves. That's it. They rule the airwaves. Hence why you should probably support independent films. Like the one I've been making. Uh, it's a Lovecraftian psychological horror film. You'll find the GoFundMe link down below. Uh, it's actually edited. It's done. Uh, so there's a big update on it. Uh, it's been edited. It's been scored. It's got sound design on it. Uh, it's just going... It's also been colour graded. It's just going through the tiniest, tiniest little tweaks. Uh, and then... It'll be kind of good to go, really. Just need to chuck it up into a film festival. Then I can give it to all of you lovely, lovely people. Uh, same with Blackfields. That's edited now as well. Uh, anyway, so yeah, go fund me. Because China owns everything else. Uh, while some hardcore fans of the video game said that they still hope the film adaptation will be allowed to rescreen after cuts, most others cheered on the idea that it would be taken down for good. Yeah, because that's what brainwashing does for you. Uh, if there is no severe punishment in the future... Others who want to humiliate China will just humiliate China, thinking it's fine to just give those Chinese a version to screen with the insults cut out. Take a joke, man. It's not a dick. You don't need to take it so hard. Um, yeah. So one posted, uh, one post addressed Tencent directly. Ha! So you'd rather cut out the insulting part in the night without banning it outright. Sure, go ahead and help the foreigners save face. These... I mean, that's... That's racist, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. I mean, xenophobic at the very least. Uh, Tencent declined to comment for the story, while Capcom and production companies Constantin Film Impact Pictures contacted by Variety, had not yet replied at the time of publication. Sony, which distributes Monster Hunter in other territories, but is not involved in its China release, said it was not fully informed of the situation and declined to comment. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Um, yeah, and so everyone went mental. So Chinese users quickly flooded video games Steam page of hundreds of angry negative reviews. Dirty knees. What? Uh, even as a few gamers are leaving positive reviews uh, specifically to troll China, such as one that's merely a long bilingual list of the country's most censored issues, that's hilarious, and events. Uh, Capcom is dead to me. Uh, I don't recommend this game just because of its movie races. Oh my god. Um, so what do they find so offensive? Uh, it's worth breaking down exactly what it is about those 10 seconds of Monster Hunter that has set off such a firestorm, if only to get a glimpse of how unforeseeably difficult it can be in this political climate to create global content that works in China, now the world's largest film market, and abroad. So early in the day on Friday, a short clip of the offending passage, seemingly shot in a cinema by cell phone, circulated on Chinese social media. It appears to have sparked outrage due to the subtitles and an unspoken inferred subtext that would likely have been lost to those who know only Chinese or English, but not both. Hmm... Context. Uh, in the scene, a white male character and an Asian character played by Jin are driving together at high speed. What, says the former, so the white guy, look at my knees, shouts Jin. What kind of knees are these, asks his companion. Chinese, jokes Jin, punning on the words last syllable. 
I mean, that's funny. Dumb, but it's still funny. Um, but yeah, apparently that's racist. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I this I've never heard of. Apparently there's a, a rhyme, a schoolyard rhyme. Chinese, Japanese, dirty knees, look at these. I've never heard, I've, n I've literally never heard that. Ever, and I'm not going to keep repeating it because I'll get demonetized. Um, wow. <sighs> so, anyway, that went mental. Um, but then Tencent is going to be strong armed by the CCP. That's going to happen now. Because Tencent is left in an awkward position, caught between uh, appearing to silence patriots and defending its financial interests. They, they're going to be strong-armed by the CCP. Oh, this is mental! Coming from, like, incredibly racially provocative place. Let me know your thoughts down below. Cheers!